guys welcome back to my channel so today we are actually doing up the playroom if you guys remember a few vlogs ago um we moved into the warehouse so the front office which is what i'm in now is now the kids playroom and they never had one before which is very exciting i haven't really done much in here we've just pretty much chucked all the toys in um and i've got some really cool stuff from ikea which we're going to put together got some tubs got an activity table and stuff like that so today i'm going to be literally decluttering all their toys organizing them into categories and then showing you guys the storage solutions so we're about to head off to bunnings because there's a few things that i have to get i'll quickly show you the room that we've got at the moment and what i'm planning to do so i wanted to quickly show you guys the playroom before i do it up so as i mentioned in one of my last vlogs this is um this used to be the office because we didn't have a playroom for the kids so that's why there's not much happening in here i just basically chucked all the toys in here this was the storage system i had before because we only had a small area of the lounge room for their toys so that's why i've used this um but now i'm going to be replacing it with the ikea stuff so i can't wait to do this room up for the girls and make it really really fun I haven't bothered to tidy up too much because I feel like with organizing and decluttering videos, it's always really like therapeutic to watch when it's a bit of a mess. So that's what I've done here. So there's a lot of items we're going to be culling. I'm going to be putting all the craft stuff in this wardrobe. We're still moving some stuff into the warehouse. So that's a bit of a process, but yes, I'm very excited to get this started. Also got this so this is just for their arts and crafts I have another one they've been using but it's getting a bit small now so I grabbed that one and this is another that's another IKEA kitchen the girls have one in the cubby so I thought I'd get one for inside as well and then we've got a craft table as well which you can put tubs underneath So I'm going to be using these um, because the girls have a lot of like backpacks and stuff. Like, you know, when we go to the park or dancing and stuff. So I'm going to pop these on the actual wall and we can just hang their bags in here. Got some wall mates because I've got these um, bookshelves, which I'll show you a bit later. And I got some blue tack because I'm going to hang um, the sign I got that says Huff and Willow's Playroom up with this because it's just easier. And I also got this. I don't know if I'm going to use it in here, but basically it's like a, um, what is it? It's actually a sponge caddy, um, but I'm going to put this magnetic. I want to put this magnetic tape on the back, and then um, you can actually pop this with like textures and stuff on their whiteboard. That's going to go in here, or I'll put this on my fridge for my textures. So yeah, that's what I'm doing with that one. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to pull all the toys out and I'm going to sort them into categories, um, which is super important. So anytime I organize or declutter, I, what I do is I pull everything out and then I'm going to cull items that are broken or things that the girls don't play with anymore that I can donate. And then um, I'll pop them into categories. So like dolls, soft toys, could be um, play food, play makeup, all that type of thing. And then I'm going to um, designate an area in the Ikea storage, which I'll show you in a sec. And that's where they're going to go. So before I put labels on, I'm going to just test it out and make sure everything fits. 
So I'll show you now the storage that we got. I've just popped it in the corner because you know it's this easier i got three different sizes of tubs so these ones i'm going to use for like dress ups because they take up a lot of room and then also like soft toys and stuff like that and then over here will be more like play food collectibles um dolls just stuff like that anyway so i've just popped them over there i decided to go with this like natural wood look because i think it looks really nice and because our house is quite white as it is um, I thought it would work better and also goes with this really cute craft activity table. So I thought I'd quickly show you guys, this is how I store the girls like flashcards. So like alphabets, numbers, all that type of thing. So this is just like a photo. It's, like supposed, to, it's supposed to be a photo container. I got it from the $2 shop. So all of these fit in, you know, those old school photos you used to print off. But yeah, I put flashcards in them and little stencils and stuff like that. And it just helps keep everything together and like nice and tidy. So yeah, any like learning cards, um, yeah, really, really handy to keep them in this. So I promise this is organized chaos. So I've put everything into categories. It probably doesn't look like it, but here's all like collectibles. So these are like ushies and any small kind of dolls. Um, these are play sets. So like the dentist kit, um, animals, like furniture for dolls house. It's like anything that's in like a set. So that's play sets. Um, play makeup is over there. And then we've got play food here, including the register and like bags and stuff. Over here is the rest of their dress ups. I've already popped them in the tub. So that's why there's not much there dolls and then we've got um games so anything that's like a mobile phone or like a laptop kind of look or like a karaoke machine anything like that i put together and then we got soft toys over here this is actually a laundry hamper but i just love it so i use this for the girls toy room and i'm also got one for our blanket storage in the lounge room so now before i label anything i'm just testing out the tubs to make sure you know the best categories for which size so i want to pop all the soft toys or half of the soft toys in here and then the rest in the laundry hamper and then yeah continue on with all the other categories and then um, that's when you put the label on because you want to make sure what you want is going to fit so you got to plan it out first Now I'm going to be putting labels on. I think I will end up buying another one of these because I did get extra tubs. So I think it'll be good because I know the girls over time, they're probably going to get more dress ups and stuff like that. And these are very compact. Um, yeah, so I think I'll put one over there as well. Anyway, there is a couple of labels I still need to order because you kind of don't know 100% until you do it up. So the best, my best advice is get your categories and sort out your storage and then you can figure out which labels you need. Even if you have to use post-it notes for a while and you write it on and stick it on. That's how I do like pantry stuff as well because you want to make sure it's like functional. So I'm going to get all these ready. So I need to make sure I order collectibles. I think they're the main ones. That's all for cleaning. These are all labels um, I'm doing like a clean, sorry, I'm doing a organize with me vlog in a couple of weeks. So you guys can watch that. All right, let's go. 
right. and I got miscellaneous. If you're ever unsure, I always order a miscellaneous label when it comes to like kids stuff because I just feel like it's a lot easier because it's always going to be like it's kind of like the kids junk drawer you put like random toys in it that's what miscellaneous is for so these are super easy to put on um i'll give you guys my discount code all my labels a little label code this is font seven um and they can help you with sizing and stuff too just depends on what you're putting it on um they have a lot of i'll put the links to like different sizes and stuff as well but yeah, i love font seven um font 13 and font 19 they're the fonts i use in this house all right, so let's do it on dress up first and I'll show you guys how to do it. So basically you just peel this front bit off. So it's a clear part. So see how that's coming off. That's what you want. And then we're just going to position it where we want. So thinking I'll go like most near the top area. You get more confident as you go with labeling. I remember when I first got labels, I used to freak out where I was going to put it. And then you basically just push it on. You get, some people get like a credit card and like push it across just to make sure it's really stuck there. Also, they do recommend to leave it on for 24 hours just to make it really durable. So that's that one. All right, because I am impatient, I'm just going to get a card. Oh, come on. Sometimes you have to get your nail in there and hold it. To get it on because once it's on it's good but sometimes with this type of material can be tricky so if you're getting like the like this ikea tubs um they're not smooth so you have to really like be careful <laughs> domain i do give it a good go but i'm not the best i get a bit frustrated um but ryan's at work at the warehouse at the moment so i'm going to hopefully save him some time and put this together let's hope they're just book shit, like book racks surely it'll be easy all right so we got um a decals for the wall didn't we yeah so it's the next day just so you guys are updated so now i want to pop up decals on the wall and their special sign which i'll show you guys once it's up and yeah, we're nearly done. Oh, let's see how we do it. I'm so happy with how it's turned out. I absolutely love it. I feel like this is really realistic as well. Um, obviously, Ryan and I, we are all moving into the new house in the next like, year or two. So that's why I really love these. So these are from Little Ray Prints and these are removable decals. Super easy to put on and to adjust. And yeah, they're just really, really cute. So yeah, I went with the little hot air balloons. And then I got this sign is personalized. This is from Harlow and Lux. She's actually one of my friends. I went to high school with her. She's very, very good at what she does. So that's that sign there. And I just put that on with blue tack. So nice and easy. And again, when we leave, we don't have to worry about it. Over here, we finally have got the bookshelves up. So Ryan popped them up last night. The girls are really excited and it holds like a really good amount of books. Like is quite a lot of room so that's really good because obviously i did want to be able to fit most of their books in there and it actually did and then i got just like the cute little this is just from kmart and then that's from kmart and that's just for them to sit there and read 
This play mat, I absolutely love. This is from Micro Australia or Micro, I'm not sure how to say it. It's double-sided. I got the Scandinavian one. Um, I absolutely love it. It's also really good for when I do exercise at home. So that's the large family size of that one. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions below that you may have and I'll see you next week. And also let me know, would you guys want me to do just like more day in the life vlogs, just literally what we do in the day? I don't know, because I'm feeling like really inspired to vlog more. So yeah, let me know and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.